I have a tiny stationery haul uh, from the last part of 2022 and I wanted to share it with you all uh, just a little bit. I've been kind of keeping everything together and not really messing with any of it too much because I wanted to share it in a video, but um, I want to use some of this stuff a little bit more. So here we are recording the haul video and then I can share it with you and I can use my stuff. So the first thing I did actually get out and play with a little bit is the new Twisby Eco uh, Royal Jade Rose Gold. It is a little bit of a kind of tough one to take out of the box and I recorded part of a uh, like a reel for Instagram that I might put on YouTube shorts whenever I get it edited um, of See, it's kind of tricky to get out of this box um, of this pen uh, so I already have it out and inked um, but I wanted to open it so I could show you what comes all in the box so here's the pen uh, this is the Royal Jade Rose Gold it is a beautiful emerald jade um, and it's got these incredibly beautiful um, rose gold detail as well as um, in here as well and I have this inked with not the one that comes with it but I have inked it with the sunlit jade from Ferris Wheel Press this was their um, uh, I'm not gonna say it right oh uh, but it's basically their year of the tiger um, collaboration they're coming out with a year of the rabbit one as well I guess depending on when this video gets posted um, it might already be out uh, but that comes out on January 6th. And that's what I have in here because I thought it would just look uh, very beautiful. Uh, and so I did a little bit of sample sampling of it. I, I love how this ink looks. And I felt like it was the best ink that I have um, to pair with it. And I, I still stand by that. Um... But yeah, so that's what comes in the box. It also comes as a set. It cannot be purchased separately, the pen. Um, but it comes with, as a set with this um, Midnight Blue um, Twisby ink. It's probably a very lovely blue ink, but um, it is also just a blue. <laughs> and it's kind of a standard no frills sort of ink from the swatches that I was seeing of it so I've just decided to not open it yet I'm I'm sure that I will use it in the future most likely not with this pen but possibly one of the other um Twisby pens that I have um speaking of which I did record a haul of the three other new pens that I got um but when it came to editing that video I just didn't really <laughs> like how it was going and I kind of scrapped all of that footage but I do have these three new pens um I had originally only had the stub nib uh with the eco tea glow purple I think that's an eco tea one anyway um the eco glow purple and then I was in a search for the jade when this was coming out the royal jade was coming out uh, on reddit there was a lot of people talking about their disappointment about the combination of the rose gold with the royal jade and they felt that the um, previous edition of jade would have looked better with the rose gold and i tracked down the this previous edition of jade I got a little sidetracked. I had to tell my son to keep it down. He was yelling at one of his games. Um, on Reddit, there were a lot of people talking about the um, Royal Jade color and how they felt like the previous edition of Jade would look better with the rose gold. And I didn't realize that there previously was um, a Jade because I had only found Twisby Pounds this um, at the end of 2022 just uh, within the last couple months and so 
Um, there were people talking about it, and I tracked down this pen. I bought it from Wonderland 222 here in Tacoma, Washington area, and uh, they shipped it incredibly fast. I placed the order just before midnight on the 20, uh, on the 22nd, um, and it was delivered to my house on the 24th. So uh, they shipped it immediately on the 23rd in the morning, and it got to me very quickly uh, of December. Anyway, I disagree. I think that the uh, royal jade and rose gold look beautiful together, um, but I wanted to have this one as well. So I ordered that, and then while I was there, I found that there was another limited edition that is no longer available um, through most retailers, and this is the lilac. And so I purchased that one as well. And then <laughs> um, while I was at it, I also picked up the black with silver. Um, so I have a, this one is a medium, a extra fine and fine nibs and they're all inked. Anyways, the video where I purchased these and showed them off, um, I just, I, I'm not posting that. I already got rid of the footage. Um, but I quite love this. I did notice after the fact that it has a different shape of cap. This one is like a triangular shape more with like rounded corners essentially. And this one is um, like a true hexagonal. And I guess I didn't know that they did that. And maybe this might be the first one they've done that with, or I've just not paid very much attention. But, um, oh wait, no, this is the Eco T. Oh, is that the difference? I guess I never really noticed. Eco T must be the ones that have um, the triangular shape. Oh, that must be what it is. I didn't know that. And now I've learned something. Um, okay, so anyway, let me put these away so I can get back to this. Um, yeah, so it comes with uh, the pen and the ink and the maintenance supplies, including the wrench and the, like, the grease uh, in this lovely box that is kind of tricky to get open. So I'm going to put the box back and then put this back with my other pens and show you the rest of what I got. Uh, in this order, I also purchased a, I don't have it with me, um, but I will show you the one that I have. It is um, a Pilot Kakuno. I purchased this in red, with the, with the one with the red cap, because my son was borrowing this one and I decided to give him his own. Um, so I've already given that to him and that is why it is not here with me, but everything else from this order is still here. Um, I also ordered the um, Iro Utsushi Pilot um, Pilot Dip Pen. Um, is this from Pilot? Yes. Okay. It. This is a dip pen with a fine nib. Um, as you can see, this is my first time opening it, and. Uh, I ordered this because I, while I was quite liking the glass dip pen that I had, um, it didn't feel very ergonomic in my hand, and I wanted to try a different type of dip nib, and so this one has more of a traditional fountain pen nib, and so I'm looking forward to trying this out and seeing how I like it. It's incredibly lightweight. And I believe the nib is interchangeable. I'm going to just quickly set that back in there for now. Uh, while I show you the rest of what I got from Yoseka. Uh, I actually ordered, placed two orders very close to each other. And they combined the shipping of those items for me. So this was actually two orders worth of stuff. I think that's everything. Um, so in this order, I... They Oh, they sent two stickers, I think, just because it was two orders uh, that they combined. I've already actually placed two additional orders with them um, at the very end of the year when they were already on break. So I, those haven't shipped yet, and that's okay. They were uh, on break. Um, I ordered the Platinum. Oh, what is this called? The Platinum. I will try and remember to put it on the screen. Um, but it's got this really cool geometric 
I'm going to remove the um, cartridge so that hopefully it can be more easy to see the design. But it's uh, green with like this black kind of geometric design. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Minecraft. Um, my kids play Minecraft and yeah, that's kind of reminds me of that. It does come with a um, black ink cartridge. Um, but in addition to that, I did order the converter. I am tempted to use the cartridge first. Um, I don't often use cartridge inks, uh, but I, uh, I purchased this pen because I wanted to try something new. And this is an incredibly inexpensive pen. It was maybe $8 USD or around that amount. Um, and it's quite inexpensive. And... I don't know. I, it seems like it's um, meant to be a pretty decent quality pen for pretty inexpensive. So um, I will probably use the cartridge ink with that before I use the converter. But I did purchase the converter, which was actually kind of silly to me. Uh, the pen was about $8 and the converter itself was around $11 or $12. So I thought it was funny to me that the converter is more than the pen itself. But that's okay. Um, but yeah, that's the platinum pen that I purchased. Um, I also purchased a single lined traveler's notebook in the regular size. Um, I purchased this because I think I'm going to give it to my son. Um, and uh, I, he already has a little notebook that I gave him when I let him borrow this. Um, but I'm going to give this to him because he likes to cook a lot. He's 13. He likes to cook a lot and I think that he would actually really like to be able to kind of keep a journal of his cooking experiences. Um, I'm not sure if he will become a chef or anything like that but he really enjoys cooking so um, I'm considering very strongly getting the new uh, Travelers. It's like a diner. I think it's called a diner. Um, traveler's notebook the whole kit um i haven't purchased it yet it's kind of an expense um for a 13 year old to have uh, like a hundred dollar kind of traveler notebook planner system um kind of a lot uh but i want to buy it and i i think that it might be appreciated by him i'm not sure um, but i think i'm going to give him this to begin with and then we have another week or two before I have to really make a decision on the whole traveler notebook cover. Um, and then in addition to that, I think these might be for him also, depending on how much he likes the journal. Uh, there are a lot of food stickers. These are from photogenic sticker mind wave. Uh, and there's just lots of food items. If he doesn't seem interested in the stickers, I will use them myself. That is okay. But um, I was trying to, I think, make my cart have enough in it to have it be free shipping. But they combined my stuff anyway, so um, I don't, I'm not sure it ever mattered. Um, and then in addition to that, I purchased these. Um, they're called print-on stickers because they have like a transfer uh, so essentially you take this and there's not a peel off. You p push this down on your paper um, like this and then you kind of transfer it with a, like a wooden stick. Um, and it's dated, they're like dates 1 through I think 31 or 30, maybe even 32. Uh, and I bought those for my journal. Where did I put my journal? Um... So this is my January journal. This is not from Yoseka Stationery. Where did I put my... Oh, it's under my book that I was reading. So this is my December journal. Uh, they're the same journal, essentially. I got them both from Redbubble. These are actually both my own designs. I think I got one that might not be my own design. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but in all of December, I used these... Um, like stickers and um, journal prompts and stuff to journal every day and this is the first time in my entire life that I have successfully journaled every single day for a month 
and I was really proud of myself and I actually would like to continue that. Um, so I have another one. This is actually the lined version and I have it ready with my journal prompts. I'm using the same uh, Rachel Grieg does journal prompts on her Instagram and her website and uh, that's where my December ones came from. She's doing them a little bit differently this year where she has a only seven different prompts and you're supposed to answer them a little bit differently each time you do it. Uh, so today is the Sunday the 1st, so I would use this prompt today and then I would also use it again um, next week and so forth. But uh, I purchased the lined version. All of Redbubble's journals are available in like a, a dot grid lined or blank. And so for January, I purchased the lined version and this is my Lunar New Year art. Um, after I ordered this, I actually went in and edited the file to shift it over so that the art would be more central and maybe slightly larger. Um, so if you're looking to get this exact notebook, it will be better than what it is here. Um, it's also available on postcards for any of you who are looking for Lunar New Year postcards. Anyway, um, I purchased these to go in here because the stickers that I had used in December, uh, those were like a freebie, like a one-time freebie from that maker. They don't put they don't put them out every month like um, the journal prompts come out. And so um, I ordered these because I was hoping that I could somehow use them in the same way. Um, I might use them this month or I might save them for next month and do something else for January. But that's what I have. That's that's what I bought those for. Um, and then it comes with Yoseka has been doing these little art prints. I think that in their year-end video they said they had five different ones for this past year, and it's just a little blurb um, about kind of what what the shop is like in that season. Um, and so this is their fifth edition, their final one of 2022. And the last item I purchased were these um, kind of these wire binder clips. These are the 32 millimeter size, which um, I pulled out a ruler when I was ordering these to make sure I got the right size, but I'm still a little bit hesitant that this is the right size um, that I need, but I can order more if these aren't the right ones. Um, is that, that's all of them. There comes, I think, six. Yeah. So they're just regular binder clips that are like the wire style um, and not the flat, more traditional ones. And so um, it came with a pack of six of them. I think these are the right size. They might be slightly bigger than what I need. Um, also, they don't quite open as far as I thought they would, but that's probably okay. Anyway, so yeah, that's that's everything that I got from Yoseka Stationery. I'm sorry that there are a couple of things that I couldn't show you because I've already like I said, I've already given my son the pen that I bought for him, but um, honestly, I'm not sure that it's that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, that's that's everything. Uh, I guess I got three pens, um, not including the one for him, and some kind of journaling supplies. But yeah. Uh, that is everything I got from these two orders from Yoseka Stationery. Um, I guess it's kind of a big haul if you consider, you know, like the value or something like that, but there wasn't a lot in it. Um, but there's some, just some stationery items that I wanted to get. I have um, a couple other stationery orders that I made with a couple of different companies and I just bought a lot of stationery at the end of 2022. Uh, but yeah, if this is a type of video that you like seeing kind of new stuff that I purchased, um, please let me know. Um, otherwise, the next video that comes out, I'm pretty sure is going to be my December 
2022 postcrossing stats video and I have so many postcards in comparison to like previous videos. I kind of really stepped up my postcrossing and I there's there's more than it has been in the past. So much that I might have to change the format of my postcrossing monthly statistics videos. After the December one, I might have to change it this coming year. We will see. Anyways, I hope you like this video. If you enjoyed it, please um, give the video a thumbs up, like, whatever you call it, uh, and leave me a comment about what your favorite item was or your favorite stationary purchase recently, what you, what you purchased, and um, yeah, I would love to hear about you and what you're, what you're up to. I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.